Welcome to Atlas. This is going to be a small tutorial on the inventory homepage. And from the main switchboard homepage, to find the inventory homepage, we're going to go under System Reports over here on the right hand side down to this one is named Aircraft Parts Homepage. Um, this name right here is Dynamic, so you can change that by going to down under System Maintenance. If you go to the Corp White Settings, you can change this name, this aircraft parts. You can call this uh, inventory homepage, whatever you like. But anyway, once you go to this page, what you'll find is a bunch of links up here on the top. And the one over on the far left is the advanced parts search. And that will take you to where you can select a vendor. You can select any of these different types or categories, locations, things of that nature. And you can also pull part status of active or inactive because we allow for parts to become inactive. And the thing about this page too is you can also export to Excel off of here. So you can ex um, export your entire inventory or pieces of it out to Excel if you wish. And if I go back to the parts homepage, um, the next link here is a principal parts list. And it too allows you to um, choose different uh, locations and and uh, categories and things of like that and also you can export out to Excel on this too and then the other link that's here is a barcode generator this is where you can create a barcode for anything within the system or anything even outside of the system if you wish because you can change this up so I can change this barcode I could put in whatever that I wish in there and submit it and it'll generate that as a barcode. So you could actually have a barcode that's even for like a PO number or an expense receipt number or a person or a customer, uh, a stock number. If you want to label like folders for stock numbers, there's a lot of um, advantages for the barcode generator, not only just printing barcodes for the different products. The barcode generator also is available on the POs and also on the items themselves. Um, the next link over is you have a recent cost change. So what this does is this pulls cost changes that are within the last month. So if I open this up to and see if we even have any part cost changes in here, this system doesn't have any recent cost changes. But anyway, what would happen on this is that this report would pull up and it would show you down below here all the items and what have been changed about those items or you know what costs have changed. You also have an inventory update inventory counts and I've actually got another tutorial on how to update inventory but this is the link for your update inventory. It's a PO and it creates a special PO that actually puts the amount that it, the computer shows that you have on hand and then it allows you to put the amount next to that of what your live count is and then you can update your inventory that way. Um, you have a ability to have a new cart and then probably the most important link on this entire page is this one here, the search grouped inventory counts. So if I click on this, this pulls me my entire inventory for all locations and you'll see it has unique parts here, total quantities and an extended cost and obviously this is the play site so the extended cost is negative. It, it uh, normally would have a positive number there. But um, all of the vendors are representative here, the different vendors, and then the different categories. These are the categories that you set up that all of the parts um, fall underneath. And that is actually one of the other um, links I want to show you is your Add Edit Parts category. And I actually have a tutorial on that. I'll just click on it. This is where you can add different part categories to that and next to that is units of measurement so this is where you can add new units of measurements and we have quite a few in there that are preset but you can add a brand new one if you wish at the, up here at the top initials description and then uh, your sort number also on this page is search and hide criteria and so that just hides this little piece right here this little search form here allows you to quickly search to a vendor, choose a category, or you can type in all, or you can simply click on all over here and it will pull up all of them. So there's 67 parts here, and then you can see photos over here on this side, 
um, the description, vendor, so on and so forth. And if you go back to the parts homepage again, you can um, limit that either by a part match or exact, or you can also search recipes. So once again, this has been a tutorial on the homepage, and the way that I found that was from the main switchboard homepage, coming under system reports, and came down to the parts homepage. And when and once you're on there, here's your links, and this link here like I said, is the most important, probably the most important link. So this concludes our inventory homepage, and thanks again for choosing Atlas.